Okay, today I want to show you guys how to um, have cloud storage uh, using OneDrive or pretty much any um, any cloud storage software uh, that uses a local uh, folder on your machine. How to have your own encryption. Um, so uploading things to the cloud has always been a, a security risk to me because uh, I always think of the cloud as being <clears throat> uh, insecure and kind of like putting all your eggs in one basket but um, in this instance I think it actually works pretty well um, of course you have to have the software installed on your computer to be able to do it but it's still synced um, it can still sync with everything you have um, the software installed on and it's using your own encryption keys so um, for this we use Veracrypt so to download that from SourceForge. Uh, Veracrypt took the place of TrueCrypt. Uh, TrueCrypt was open source encryption software um, and developed and, and used widely for years. Um, and the guys who were um, who were developing uh, TrueCrypt decided they just didn't want to do it anymore. So TrueCrypt picked up the ball and, and started running with it. And they, they've done a really good job with it. <coughs> so English. I accept the license terms and I'm going to install install for all users and as you can see here this thing's uh, and if you have the extra cash sitting around it's a good idea to donate you know something to these guys they, they do a really good job um, because I've, I've used Veracrypt before so or for me it's not that big of a deal so um, as you can see I have my OneDrive folder open here um, nothing really in it it's just sitting here really um, but if I have OneDrive installed and I'm, I'm logged in um, with my account um, my Microsoft account and I can have that same OneDrive with that same account installed on multiple machines and be able to sync those same files that are going to be completely encrypted inside this folder so whenever it, it syncs the file it, it doesn't actually see what's in it it's just the ones and zeros um, so that's, that's one thing that uh, that makes me feel a little bit better about having cloud storage um, there's a lot of horror stories about people uh, I can think back to the Apple problem years ago where people um, ha had a bunch of stuff in iCloud that got leaked out to the, um, to the public so we're going to create a volume that's the first thing we want to do and create an encrypted file container standard very encrypt volume and select file I'm going to put this in OneDrive. I want to say new folder. Um, let's just call it private. You know, so something I would put in here would be like tax documents, uh, banking records, uh, things of that nature. Things I don't want anybody at the cloud company to be able to access. Um, so private, and then we're just going to create uh, create a file. Call, call it encrypted Just encrypted information call it whatever you want really now so you guys see that I have the private folder and then it's going to create this encrypted um, information folder or file so never save history it's always good to leave that checked um, AES is pretty good um, as far as encryption goes it's pretty much unbreakable um, and I'm sure someone will find a way around it at some point in the future. Um, so next, we're gonna um, I'm gonna create one that's let's say two gigabytes, uh, just enough for me to be able to to drop some PDFs and things like that in. So uh, this is a virtual machine, so I only have 28.69 gigabytes available. I'll just create a two gig uh, two gig file. And then we're gonna use a password. So I'm just gonna use a uh, Just to show you. Nothing I would ever use. But that's how you put the password in. And make sure you don't lose this. Um, we typically use phrases, uh, multiple word phrases. Um, and we find that that's a lot better because people um, are a lot less likely to write them down, uh, which defeats the whole purpose of having a password anyway. 
you know, so as long as you're going, you know, 20 or 30 characters in a password, um, it's pretty secure. So that's my password. You guys can see that. Uh, so it gives you a warning. Short passwords are easy to crack using brute force techniques. Um, <clears throat> we recommend choosing a password consisting of 20 or more characters. Are you sure you want to use a short password? Yes, this is just for demonstration. So yes. And then what we want to do is we want to randomize, um, randomize that pool. So what we're doing is we're making it harder to reverse engineer the uh, the encryption. So it just doesn't use standard keys. And the reason being is a random number generator is not random. Um, you know, computers they do things in series a lot. Um, all right, so there we randomize that quite a bit. With format. And it shows you what speed it's running at. We're almost done, 100%. Okay, so the Veracrypt volume has been successfully created. Okay. And then next. And then we are done because it, it's wanting to know if we want to create another encrypted file container. So we just hit cancel. So here is our two gigabyte file. Um, we have set up in OneDrive. So now what I want to do is I want to mount that file and be able to put things in it. So I'm going to select the file, and go to OneDrive, go to private, and then encrypted information. And you see the status is it's actually being synced right now. So open that, and then I'm going to pick a drive letter. Um, you know, any, any drive letter really, as long as it's not already being used. I'll use S for secret. So to mount, and then I have to put in my password. And then, okay. And it's warning you, it may take a while. Um, and Veracrypt may seem unresponsive. So here we go. We have our um, Veracrypt volume created. Encryption algorithms AES. Size is two gigs. Um, and it is called encrypted information. And it is mounted for us. So if I go to this PC, it's, it mounts it as a local drive. So we can, we have local disk S. Um, so I can just drop some things in there. Press the Veracrypt shortcut, Microsoft Edge shortcut, create text documents. Um, whatever I want to do, really. And it, as long as it's not over two gigs, it'll fit inside this container and, and work just fine. Um, Here's my, my container, right? Mount as local disk S. So I can now want to dismount this, dismount, and now it is re encrypted again. So I hit exit, and you see Veracrypt is still there, but it's no longer, um, it no longer has the drive mounted. So we, we could open it back up and remount it if you wanted to. Uh, you could keep it mounted as long as you're working in it. Uh, the file still lives here. Right, still lives in private encrypted information, um, sync pending. Um, but we don't we don't have a mount, so we can't put anything in it. So I exit out of that, and if I'll show you, if you try to open this up, it just opens up as a bunch of uh, kanji. Uh, and of course, the, the file is too large; it won't actually open it up in in work in Notepad. But this gives you a, a quick glimpse of you know how you set up um, an encrypted file inside cloud storage and use your own encryption. Um, but I never really trust having my files synced um, into the cloud using someone else's encryption. Even if I set my encryption keys using their software on my machine, um, a lot of times Microsoft is a good example of that. They, they back up your encryption keys for BitLocker to their own uh, storage. So you know, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Um, if you'd like to see something else, uh, send me an email. Let me know.